Daniel. I'm Nicole. And you're watching Gear 65, the gadget review show. And this is episode number 42. This week we're taking a look at the BlackBerry Curve 8520. Yep. So this is the BlackBerry Curve 8520. Um, it's, a, it's a brand new BlackBerry yes. by RIM. I was almost a BlackBerry by BlackBerry. Um, this is actually a, um, their budget phone. Yep. So uh, according to some of what we've actually searched online on mobilesquare.com, which is a good place to go to if you want to find phones without contract price, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 488 Singapore dollars. So it's about 500 Singapore dollars. Yep. It's, that, that makes it quite cheap, actually. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so let's talk about the design first. Yep. So if you take a look at it, um, it's uh, just like some of the, the new Blackberries, it's had a full glossy front. Yes. Yep. Um, so you have the call, the, the Blackberry menu button, the back button, and you have this thing instead of the usual ball, yeah, which they've been having the, recently. We have the optical uh, trackpad. Yep. So you know, you can just, you know, uh, we'll show you, it's actually pretty good. Uh, actually, we can just show you right now. Um, that uh, it, it actually scrolls, sorry. Uh, it actually scrolls pretty fast, so um, you know, yeah, and, and we we kind of quite impressed with this. It's one of the good things about BlackBerry is OS. So there's it's very fast. Uh, yes. Doesn't really like much. Yeah. And basically, you can even uh, if you do not like to scroll this fast, you can actually change the change settings the sensitivity. And options. Yeah. Yes. So right. So let's take a look at the rest. The uh, speaking of which, this the display is a 320 by 240 display, which yeah. is pretty typical for a device this size with this kind of layout. Uh, a beautiful keyboard. It's a typical BlackBerry keyboard, which means it's good. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the buttons are actually protruding outwards a little bit, uh, a little bit like um, the Palm Trio Pro's keyboard, yes. um, but you know, it's not as rubbery, and then there's a little bit of separation. So definitely, touch typing is uh, uh, definitely a huge it possibility just, it on this device. It's very comfortable for for the fingers. In fact, in, yep. in fact, it's such. It's, it's a joy to type on the typical BlackBerry device. Mm, yeah, that's right. Um, so we can take a look at the side here. So this is a 3.5mm jack. Um, it actually has a, a, an audio player inside yes. there. They are trying to sell it a little bit to be like a... Uh, trying to penetrate into a market where people actually want a more multimedia device. Yes. This is one of the devices that they are using to do it. Mm -hmm. So you can see a 3.5mm jack to listen to music. And you can see the controls here. So we can uh, zoom it in a little bit more. So you can actually see that, that there are actually MP3 player controls here, uh, yes. playback controls. Um, this one is uh, Play, playback, pause, pause next back. And this is also the, uh, the new, new button. button as well, so you can see here, uh, to silent the phone. 2.0 megapixel camera, yep. okay, um, micro USB, yes, right? right? So both charging as well as data. Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, what we mean by data, you can actually sync this with uh, this desktop with a BlackBerry desktop Blackberry manager. Desktop. Um, available for both the PC and the Mac. This is a voice uh, voice command button. So yep. basically, you you just push this button and then you can do a voice command. But we, we haven't programmed it in. Um, the these are the volume controls, and uh, this actually um, launches the camera. Yeah. And one thing to note, it has a 256 megabyte internal memory mm -hmm. and an expandable um, memory of up to 32 gig via microSD. Yep. And uh, yeah, the volume control also acts as uh, zoom controls, by the way. So, um, you know, pretty much that's about it in terms of design. Mm -hmm. um, it feels very good because it's a rubbery, you know, this part here, right, this whole thing here, the buttons and uh, the edge here, the border here is actually rubber. So it actually feels good in the hand. You have a very strong grip on the device. Uh, for the grip, that's right. Um, so tell us a little bit about the, the software actually. Okay, basically it's running on its own OS. Yep. And as you can see, it's, this is where uh, you can even like have the option to move your icons. Uh -huh. So the first row actually acts as the, the shortcut that you want to see on the main screen. Mm. See? Okay, okay. Oh, I get it. So if whatever you put on the top row, you will appear yes. on the main home screen as well. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. And basically, one thing to to bring bring it to you is the the BlackBerry uh, World. Yeah, the BlackBerry apps, BlackBerry App World. Yep, which is available just... in Singapore recently only. Yep. And uh, so basically, you can actually uh, download applications. It's a bit like the the BlackBerry's version of the the, the App Store. Yes, yeah. that's right. Mm. Actually, at the moment now, it has only uh, free apps available. For so, Singapore? Yeah, in Singapore. the apps feature is not activated as yet. Okay. And they feature different kind of software uh, for you to download, mm -hmm. like the developer conference, try safely. This is really new. I think they just refreshed it. Okay. Because there were 12 items yep. previously. You can see, by the way, if you know, as she's talking, you notice how smooth the application software is. So that's actually a cool thing. And it scrolls very nicely. Mm. Furthermore, you can easily access like the top three uh, apps available in the app world. Mm -hmm. And basically, 
it will, uh, this list will refresh over time. It depends on how many people download it and use it. And you can have uh, various stuff like bowling. You have have games, you have weather, and even different uh, news app like Bloomberg. You have uh, you can even download applications update your news via Brazil mm -hmm. or something. Yep. So basically, so, that's what the app was at the moment. So basically, like yeah, it's a very uh, uh, typical thing that you think. But of course, don't don't forget that you can still install applications uh, beyond the app world itself. Yeah. Right. You can download online from websites, and or you can install it either through send it to yourself by via email, or you can use the Black Ma BlackBerry manager yes. on the desktop. Um, so that's one of the thing. Another thing, of course, that Blackberries uh, are known for is a BlackBerry Messenger. B version five. Okay. As you can see, I can easily just add. Uh, you can create groups. You can easily just create group, and oh, basically okay. people can add me instead of me giving the pin. Okay. You can just take a snapshot of the barcode. If I go under my profile and then display my barcode, basically anyone with a BlackBerry just need to take a picture of this barcode. Okay. And you'll be recognized that it's my BlackBerry pin. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And you can even do this for groups as well. So mm -hmm. it makes makes adding context a breeze, you know, to like yeah. ask, hey, what's your pin, that kind of thing. Mm, yeah. So, um, by the way, uh, so that's pretty much. It. I mean, the software it's uh, it's pretty standard BlackBerry software. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's very smooth. Um, one thing is that yeah, compared to a Series sixty, for example, for the E seventy one, E seventy two, this is definitely a lot smoother, a lot faster. Um, it is not as uh, how do you call it? Uh, there are not as many shortcuts as you can find on a, yes. on a Series sixty, though. You know, so basically you, you have to do everything through the uh, the mouse. Um, one thing, like we said earlier, this is actually a budget phone, mm. right? So in terms of specs, this is not a 3G phone, it's a 2.5G phone. It uses uh, GPRS. It uses GPRS as well as offering Wi-Fi. Yeah, so there's Wi-Fi built in as yeah. well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much uh, we have to say about this particular BlackBerry phone. If you're actually looking for a BlackBerry phone or a cheaper BlackBerry phone or you want to get into a BlackBerry, uh, this is a good device to get. Um, you know, because Blackberries are really known for uh, their communication services. Yes. Yeah, the email, uh, the messenger, and all that. If you really need to be contacted, um, very regard because of work and all that kind of stuff. If, and if a lot of your friends use Blackberry, uh, we would recommend a Blackberry. All, all the more, it makes communication even easier with the Blackberry Messenger. Mm, yes, that's right. So that was the Blackberry Curve. 8520, uh, a budget BlackBerry phone. Yep. Uh, and uh, like we said earlier, the price that we found online is about 500 Singapore dollars without the contract filter. It's a very affordable phone. Um, so if you have any questions you want to ask us, gear65 at tech65.org. That's our email address. Uh, you can also visit our website, www.tech65.org, to check out all our past Gear 65 episodes. And of course, our other podcast on tech65.org. Right, so that's it. I'm Daniel. I'm Nicole. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.